Welcome back, everybody. See, we're in the school dress code polo. Um, today, another bold predictions video. Um, we're going with the AFC North. Uh, this one, it's not overly bold. I don't think there's no... Well, for one or two teams, it's a bit exaggerated, maybe. So I guess in that terms, it's bold. But bold predictions, here we go. So starting off, we have the Buffalo Bills. Everyone's presumed number one in the AFC East, especially when Tom Brady left. And I have them going 10-6. and six. Um, The absolute worst I see them doing is 6-10. and 10. Uh, The best is 14-2. and two. They very easily could go 14-2. and two. Um, Some important games to look at is the, both New England games. Those ones will be very important. Um, and then the Seattle and Arizona games on November 8th and 15th. Those will be key games for both Buffalo and and New England, which I'll get to maybe maybe a little bit in this video, but definitely in a later video to come. Those four games will be very important in determining quite a bit. So next we have the Miami Dolphins, who I think um, it was Pat McAfee. Like I might I might be a little wrong on this, but claimed that they would be the best team in the AFC East. Might might have been second best, but he claimed that they were going to be one of the top teams. In the AFC East, I have them going two and fourteen. This is one that maybe, maybe not that bad, but I'm um, just looking at their schedule. Um, they play a few tough games against New England and Buffalo to start off. Seattle, San Francisco, all within the first five weeks. Um, then you have Arizona a little later on, Kansas City, then New England and Buffalo again at the end. It's tough. Um, I see their only two wins coming against Jacksonville on September 24th and um, New York Jets on November 15th. Um, ones they could also win are um, the Cincinnati game, and that's about it. That's the only other game I see them winning. But um, yeah, 2-14, and 14, the worst, they could very easily go 0-16. But at best, um, if everything goes right, to as the best player ever. Seven and nine. Um, I didn't mention um, Denver. Denver, they could win. Um, they could win their other game against New York as well, which would put them at seven wins. But instead, I have them going two and fourteen. Hey guys, future me dropping in. No sparks, no sparks people today. Nobody wanted the job. Um, but yeah, just future me saying, go check out the website. Okay, um, xtrain twenty two x dot wixsite dot com backslash. Sorry backslash T-O-T-H fantasy football I know it's complex that's the best I could get um, yeah please go check it out I have rankings I have sleepers um, for, well I haven't finished my sleepers yet but right now I have quarterbacks and running backs done by the time by the end of today there should be wide receivers done tight ends should be done and by the end of the week there should be uh, mock drafts and uh, players you should watch out for that have gone undrafted. Uh, spoiler alert, most of them will be quarterbacks, but a few running backs, a few wide receivers, uh, maybe one or two tight ends sprinkled in. Um, defenses to watch based off strength of schedule. No kickers. Um, I love kickers, but for fantasy football, they don't quite fit in here, with at least with this category. Um, so yeah, please go check out the website. Link is in the description. And yeah, sorry you're stuck with me today. They heard there's no money, so no sparks, no sparks first. And so, on to the video. What a great looking guy that was. Anyway, on with the um, schedule analysis and predictions. We've got the New England Patriots next. Um, they were a team, just about everybody, including myself, even as a Patriots fan, thought we were going to be dead last in the AFC East, maybe even the AFC in general. Um, but then, one. One man, one man kept my hopes alive. It was Bill Belichick. He kept my hopes alive of uh, at least being a mediocre team. So the first weeks were a little overreaction, and then I realized we still got Bill Belichick. We got Josh McDaniels. Still got Julian Edelman, Stephon Gilmore. Defense, with, even with a few people sitting out, still amazing. And then Cam Newton happened. Um, he hasn't been officially named the starter yet. But it will happen by the end of the year, um, even if not by the first 
two games, he'll be the starter. But because of that, I have them at 10-6, and six, tied with the Bills, which um, makes the games I mentioned for the Bills much as... Now you see why they're important. Um, yeah, so the absolute worst I have the Patriots doing is 7-9. and nine. That's the absolute worst I can see them doing. Um, the best is 13-3. and three. So their floor is a little bit lower. It's like the Bills floor is here. Patriots are right about here. Uh, um, or sorry, Patriots floor, Bills floor, and the, but Bills ceiling, Patriots ceiling. It's I think the Patriots were we know more about who they are compared to the Bills, uh, where we don't know if Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs is going to work. We don't know if that defense will be as as amazing as it is last year. But with the Patriots, I feel like we know their defense is good. We know their offense will be there at least in half the game. So that's why. Their floor is a little bit higher than the Bills. Uh, but some key games to watch out for is um, the Seattle game, September 20th, week two. Very important. Um, then the Buffalo game, November 1st and December 28th. And then the Arizona game on November 29th. Those are the games to watch. Uh, those are the most important games this year for the Patriots. And, and the Bills, but yeah watch those four games so the final team we have the New York Mets of football the New York Jets um, they're another team that could do a lot better than I say they will but um, I've met 2 and 14 same as the Dolphins with the exact same floor and ceiling 0 and 16 7 and 9 um, I just Adam Gase just isn't gonna work it, it he's just not it's not gonna work um, Le'Veon Bell, I think, doesn't want to be there really, um, mainly because Adam Gase doesn't want Le'Veon Bell to be there. So that's just that just wasn't gonna work at all. Um, they lost Jamal Adams, their best defender by far. Um, their offense, if uh, Gase refuses to use Le'Veon Bell, will be non-existent. Um, their defense bled up way too many points. Their secondary is not good. They. They would benefit a lot from signing uh, Earl Thomas. My guess is he doesn't want to go there because he's a smart man. But, um, yeah, they would benefit a lot from having Earl Thomas. But, yes, uh, key games to watch for them, if there are any, would be the Mi two Miami games. That would be fun to watch. Just Actually, no, that would be horrible to watch. But those would be the two closest games. Um, and then maybe the um, the Denver game maybe would be close. Same with the Chargers. Then the Vegas game, I mean, it's in Vegas, so it'd be fun to watch. But yeah, but I, um, that's all I got for me. I, they're just not going to do well this year at all. And that concludes today's video. Thank you all very much for, for watching. If you think I am completely wrong, which this is the one that I think I will be the most wrong on. This will probably be the most wrong I will ever be so far. <laughs> But um, please leave a comment, okay? Uh, like the video if you think I I don't know. Just please like the video; would be nice. Uh, subscribe. That would also be nice to do. Um, anyway, thank you all very much for watching, and adios.